Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about diode and its working principle. Friends, you might have already have an idea about diodes and its working principle and its construction. But today in this lecture, we are going to discuss in detail about diode, how it is being constructed, how the junctions are being formed and how it works and what are the VI characteristics. So let's start. So friends, diode is a device which allows the flow of electric current only in one direction. The difference between a thyristor and a diode is very simple, which you already know. A thyristor allows the flow of electric current only in one direction, but the condition is there should be a gate pulse. And once the gate pulse is withdrawn, the thyristor does not stop conduction of electric current. There are some commutation techniques which you already discussed in the earlier lectures that can be used in a thyristor gate terminal to stop the flow of electric current. However, in a diode, which controls the flow of electric current only in one direction and it blocks the flow in the other direction. So let's see how it works. So friends, as we all know, this is the symbolic diagram of a diode. So in this diagram, this terminal is called an anode and this terminal is called a cathode. Diode is nothing but a p-n junction, a p type of layer and an n type of layer in a semiconductor. In the other words, a p type of semiconductor and an n type of semiconductor when are doped forms a p-n junction which is called a diode. So friends, as you all can see in this figure, this is the P type of semiconductor and this is the N type of semiconductor. So we all know the majority charge carriers in a P type of semiconductor are holes. And the majority charge carrier in an N type of semiconductors are electrons. So friends, when a P type of semiconductor is doped against an N type of semiconductor, this forms a PN junction diode. So the main work or the main operation of PN junction diode is it allows the flow of electric current only in one direction and it restricts the flow of electric current in the other direction. Now friends, let's talk about how a diode is applied or how a diode is used in an electrical circuit. So friends, a diode can be used in a circuit in two modes of operation. So friends, a diode is normally used in an electrical circuit in two modes of operation. So here you can see number one is called forward biased mode of operation. Number two is called reverse biased mode of operation. So let's talk about what is a forward biased mode of operation. So friends, you already know all this operation. What are the forward biased mode and what are the reverse biased modes? But today we are going to discuss about it in a very detailed way. So let's talk about forward biased mode of operation. So friends, a forward biased mode is a mode of operation when the positive terminal of a battery is connected with the P side of a PN junction and the reverse terminal or the negative terminal of a battery is connected with the N terminal of a PN junction. Here, as per this figure, I am connecting I am connecting a DC battery, the positive terminal of the DC battery connected with the anode and the negative terminal of the DC battery connected with the cathode. Now this forms the diode to operate in a forward biased mode. 
Now, if I draw the symbol of the diode in a forward biased mode, this becomes or this looks like this. So let D be the diode. This would be the positive terminal of the battery and this would be the negative terminal of the battery. Now friends, let's see what happens when a diode is connected with a battery in the forward biased mode. As you all can see here in this figure, when a P type of semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of a battery, the number of holes in the P type of semiconductor increases and in the same way, the number of electrons in the N type of semiconductor increases because the N type of semiconductor is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Because of this reason, the current flows in a forward direction. Let I be the current. In the same way, if we talk about a reversed biased mode, let's see how a reversed biased mode look like. Now let's talk about the second mode of operation or which is also called a cutoff mode of operation because in this mode there is no flow of electric current because the diode blocks the electric current. Now friends let's talk about the reversed biased mode of operation. So what is a reversed biased mode? Reverse bias mode is a mode of operation when the anode or the P doped junction or the P type of semiconductor is connected with the negative terminal of a DC battery and the N type of semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of a DC battery. So if you draw the figure, it looks like this. So here in this figure, I have connected the anode or the P type of semiconductor or the P side of the PN junction with the negative terminal of the battery and the N type of semiconductor or the N side of the PN junction with the positive terminal of the battery. So here there is no flow of electric current. So this is called a blocking mode. So friends, finally we came to the conclusion that a diode conducts when it is connected with the forward biased mode and it blocks when it is connected with a reversed biased mode. So thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikira and stay tuned with Ikira. Thank you so much.